now that you've familiarized yourself with the Cridwin's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. If you have a moment, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Of course. What's on your mind? Thank you. This isn't a formal meeting. I simply want to clear the air. I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot when we first met, and I feel like I owe you an apology. Expecting you to embrace the standards of the Brotherhood without having a history with us was unfair. And given that you've adjusted so well to our beliefs, I don't think I needed to push so hard. That's very kind. Thank you. Well, you deserve it. When I was an initiate, my sponsor was Paladin Creed, the toughest squad leader I ever served. He was a model soldier, embodying the values every trainee was striving to achieve. Fiercely loyal, secure in his beliefs, and brave to a fault. From the moment I was assigned to his squad, I was single out. It felt like he was pushing me harder than the rest of the team. I fought by his side for years, and we had some seriously close calls. But he never explained to me why I was treated that way. It sounds like he was trying to motivate you. If he was, I never got a chance to ask. After I was promoted to Paladin, and I'd moved on to my own squad, I received word that Kree was killed at Adams Air Force Base. The news was like being kicked in the stomach. I mean, I'd lost some of my brothers and sisters before, but his death, well, it really got to me. It's taken me a long time to realize it, but the reason Krieg was so tough on me is the same reason I'm so tough on you. It's because I believe in you, and I don't want to see any of your potential go to waste. I'm flattered that you have so much faith in me. You've earned that faith by your own hand. Well. I've said what I had to say, and I hope that it meant something to you. I trust you'll keep this in confidence, of course. Some of that information is of a personal nature. Well, I'd like to know. Target acquired. I'll try and keep him in your sights.
This area seems to be in disarray. What's that? I hear something. So who's there? Here's playing tricks on me again. I have a problem. This equipment's here for a reason. Let's find out why. Who's there? Hold up.
look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Dead. 
Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, 